Greetings, YouTube. I've discussed the Southern Baptist Convention before, and sadly, I'll probably have to talk about them again in the future. Um, I was listening to an interview on NPR with um, one of their spokespeople, I guess. I don't imagine he's one of the leaders, just one of the guys that is the mouth, the talky bit to the, to the press. Um, because they recently made a, an assertion that only men may be pastors within SBC uh, churches. And in fact, they have gone to the extent of uh, kicking out some denominations, the actual churches, because they will allow women to be pastors. And um, they use some, they're, they're quoting a line from the Bible about how, you know, women shall not, you know, direct men, that kind of BS. Um, the patriarchy is old and toxic masculinity has been with us forever. Um, and one of the things the guy said was, profoundly hypocritical. I understand that these are social conservatives, so hypocrisy comes off them like sweat. It is nothing out of the ordinary. But he's talking to a guy who he knows is recording his voice. So what he says is going to be said for posterity. That everyone who is listening to that show or who has access to an internet connection can listen to that show in the future and listen to the words that he spoke when he said, with absolute no sarcasm, with absolute sincerity, that the Bible says that men and women are equal, but in different ways. Have you, have you read, not, not read any Orwell? Did you, did you skip that class in school? You didn't read Animal Farm? Hmm? Because he says that, you know, men and women are equal, and yet women can't be pastors. So those are two absolutely conflicting ideas. You cannot be separate but equal. You cannot have some animals that are more equal than other animals. And you cannot have a church where everyone is considered equal, but in different ways. You're either equal and have access to everything for everybody the same way. Well, you're not equal. It's, it's pretty clear cut. It really is. And the fact that this guy can say this, and there was not a, not a, a drop of anything but seriousness in this guy's voice when he said it. It was amazing. The reporter was very good. The reporter just let him speak, and he asked cogent questions, um, hit the guy repeatedly with about with, with some things. And I, he, didn't, he didn't push too hard, but hard enough. Probably pushed harder than this guy is used to. And in fact, he probably told um, his, uh, his brethren about how uh, aggressive the reporter was in this particular instance when they were actually not particularly aggressive at all. But I'm sure at his worldview, any time you push back against them, they're going to take that as some kind of deeply personal attack. They're going to describe it as somebody coming at them with like a, a rocket launcher because they dare to be questioned about their deeply hypocritic, hypocritical worldview. Um, but yeah, the SBC are a bunch of hypocritical misogynists. There's no way around that. They always have been. And until they decide to like, you know, step forward and enter the 21st century, they're going to continue to be. So, any of that people out there who defend the SBZ, yeah, right there, now and forever.